there is growing evidence that uh, trauma, especially uh, early life traumas, uh, adverse childhood experiences, uh, influences the development and severity of asthma. Trauma is referred to extreme form of stress or life-threatening events that influences an uh, individual's physical and mental health. Trauma also uh, is linked to dysregulated immune function, uh, where it increases the stress hormone release, uh, the cortisol and adrenaline, which uh, directly impacts the respiratory health by increasing inflammation and narrowing of the airways and the airways narrowing results in increased breathlessness for the patients. And hence you can see asthma, uh, people having increased breathlessness and panic attacks. And uh, trauma can also influence the psychological health uh, where people have increased anxiety, depression and PTSD and is further linked to increased severity of asthma, especially in people diagnosed with asthma. And trauma also influences the behavioral and life choices of an individual, whereby an individual gets addicted to um, alcohol, substance abuse, or uh, poor medical management, um, like um, not uh, taking their med medicines at time, or not following some self-care practices as prescribed. In medical world, um, asthma is treated with uh, steroids and uh, steroids are the stress hormones, the cortisol. So it is going to further increase or aggravate the symptoms of breathlessness by increasing the inflammation and uh, narrowing of the airways. Although the intention is the steroids is to reduce the inflammation at one side, but it is going to trigger the stress hormones, is going to trigger um, the relief uh, of cortisol and adrenaline more further because steroids itself is the cortisol and that is going to further go with the symptoms of breathlessness. So we have to take a moment and think whether we are missing the puzzle. Are we treating asthma based on the biopsychosocial and spiritual model?